It's meteorologist Justin Gibbs, the National Weather Service at Brownsville, Texas, serving the Rio Grande Valley with the third in a series of videos on severe weather awareness. This is talking about wind danger. We issue severe thunderstorms warning, warnings in the National Weather Service. When thunderstorms begin producing large hail, and we know why that is, because it can damage your car, it can uh, injure you if you're standing outside, it can uh, mess up your roof and cause all kinds of property damage. So we understand why we issue severe thunderstorm warnings for hail, but we also issue severe thunderstorm warnings for winds over 58 miles an hour. You say, well, that's kind of a random number, it seems like. Well, it's not really. 58 mile per hour, or 60 miles an hour roughly, is the threshold at which we begin seeing damage occurring in the community. So we'll have trees and power lines knocked down. Unanchored mobile homes can be destroyed at that wind speed. Shingles and roofing material uh, can be damaged, and sidings and outbuildings can be damaged. And what's dangerous about power lines and trees falling, it's not necessarily the property damage that can occur, but it's that those trees and power lines can fall on you. If you're standing on that sidewalk there in the center of that image, that would have been a terrible place to be when this storm came through. It can also fall on your home. It can come in through your window or fall on the edge of your roof. And it can fall on your car. And that's actually one of the most common ways people are killed in wind speeds of 55 to 60 miles per hour is that they're driving and a tree or a power line falls on their car, comes through their roof or windshield, and then injures or kills them. So that's why we say don't be out driving in a severe thunderstorm because, uh, for one, it's very hard to see, but second, the things can fly or fall and, uh, and hurt you inside that car. You get into stronger winds and then sheds and outbuildings start to be damaged or destroyed. The roofing material or the roof entirely can come off of anchored mobile homes and then roofing material can be removed from stronger buildings at 70 to 80 miles per hour. At 90 miles per hour and greater, most mobile homes, even those that are tied down, can be significantly damaged or destroyed. Hail and other debris can be driven and knock your skylights out or exacerbate existing damage like it did to this Starbucks and that was from McAllen in 2012 that was sandblasted by 45 minutes of baseball size hail driven by 90 mile per hour winds. Uh, widespread damage to roofs can occur and that's dangerous if you're standing under that roof because part of it may fall on you at 90 mile per hour and then we also obviously warn for tornadoes and you say well we don't get tornadoes here, right? Well, we can. They're more rare here than they would be, say, in Oklahoma or North Texas, but they can occur. And since 1950, we've had 13 recorded events of EF2 or greater tornadoes in the Rio Grande Valley. And an EF2 is a pretty big deal. These damaged uh, pictures show uh, this car, the white car in the upper left, was in a garage before the tornado hit. The garage was taken away by the tornado. The roof was blown off by the tornado. Uh, the damage uh, occurred to that gas station in the lower left, uh, the awning fell. That would have been a terrible place to be standing underneath that when that tornado come through. And then mobile homes can be completely demolished and just scattered about, uh, which is why they are so dangerous to be in, in a strong tornado. And why do we say, well, be in that interior room in the lowest floor of your home? We want you to be uncomfortable cramped in the closet with all of your... Uh, family? Well, of course not. We want you to be safe, and that interior room is the safest place to be. And the reason that we know that, when we look at all of the research and science that we've done as far as what wind speeds do certain damage, small interior rooms hold up until damage degree indicator number eight on in well-built homes. Now, this does not include mobile homes, but well-built homes, strong buildings, which means that nine and ten are all that's left. Those are wind speeds of 170 to 200 miles per hour, and that's equivalent to an EF4 or EF5 tornado, which we have no history of in the Rio Grande Valley. We can't promise that it will never happen, but it is very unlikely. And what that means is if you're in an interior room on the lowest floor away from windows, you're basically set to handle anything the Rio Grande Valley is going to throw at you. So that's why we tell you to move to an interior room. Another reason is if you're not in that interior room, the roof starts to come off of even well-built homes at 80 to 90 miles per hour, and you can get broken glass and doors and windows. Things can be sent through those windows. So if you're standing by the window, not only can you be struck by lightning close to the uh, window, but you can have material come through that window, break that window, and damage or injure you or worse. And that occurs at much lower wind speeds than when, when you would be put in danger if you're in, in an interior room. If you're in an interior room and your front window blows out, it's a mess, but it's not dangerous. If you're standing by that window, then it's dangerous. So that's why we tell you to move to that interior room and get away from windows. If you're in a mobile home, those degrees of damage are much lower wind speeds. Uh, you can see damage begins at 60 to 70 miles per hour, and then life-threatening damage begins occurring at 80 miles per hour, even in well-built mobile homes that are completely tied down. Homes that are not tied down, again, 
can start flying at 50 to 60 miles per hour. I've seen it with my own eyes where a relatively weak thunderstorm will destroy a mobile home or send it rolling, and that's not a good place to be uh, when the wind damage is occurring. So that's why we say get out of those mobile homes and move to those interior rooms because that's by far the safest place to be. If you have any questions, we're at weather.gov slash RGV, Facebook at U.S. National Weather Service, Brownsville, Texas, Twitter at NWS Brownsville, or you can call the office anytime at 956-504-1432.